So this review is like two years out of date now because obviously the lens came out two years ago. Um, but I um, ordered one off Amazon and it came today and I wanted to do a review anyway because all the reviews I've seen on this lens sort of give it glowing praise, uh, say it's an amazing lens and it is um, but with one sort of <clears throat> one major problem for me and that's the reason I'm going to be sending it back. So before we get into that let's just talk about the build quality. So if it's, it feels real nice, it feels does kind of feel kind of like metal even though it's not it's plastic um, it feels great in the hand it's a real nice weight uh, the focus rings really smooth and I do like the size of it in comparison to the sort of Panasonic lenses uh, which are like you know tiny um, like the Panasonic Leica I think it's 15mm f17 or something like that and that's tiny compared to this uh, but I actually prefer this size I, I quite like um, yeah I like the size of it um, so generally the build no no complaints no complaints with the build whatsoever um, the image quality um, as I'll put some clips and stuff and stills again nothing wrong with the image quality either the image quality is um, it's razor sharp this lens the bokeh is really nice. Um, you can really isolate a subject for such a wide angle lens. Even on micro four thirds, um, it kind of blows out the water, the wide angle that I've got on this camera, which is only an F2.5, but it's a pancake lens, uh, 14 mil. Um, so for a wide angle, yeah, real, real nice um, separation, really sharp. Um, good contrast um, I'm not a pixel peeper in the slightest so I wouldn't look at the corners I wouldn't jump in 200% um, I'm just looking for the overall feel I get from the image and, and I, I'm happy with it it's a bit bit tiny bit clinical for me it's a bit too sharp <clears throat> but um, on the whole really really good now but here's the here's the thing and here's the reason why I'm sending it back the fly-by-wire focus is atrocious, beyond atrocious. I've only got one fly-wire lens, and that's the, like I say, the 40mm f2.5, which is on this camera. Um, and the focus is probably twice as good as the focus on the Sigma. Um, the Sigma, it's, <clears throat> depending on your speed of focus, I mean, it just, it just jumps all over the place and, and just trying to fine tune the focus. I don't find it to be very intuitive, really. It, it, it just doesn't feel nice when, you, when you're trying to focus. And I think the, 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 the reason I have that feeling with it is because my primary lens is um, a Zeiss Discogon um, F2, 28mm F2. This is my main lens. This is fully manual, uh, mechanical focus, um, amazing build quality, like leagues ahead of the Sigma. The Sigma's nice, but this is just, this is solid metal construction. Uh, the focus ring is butter smooth, and, and because it's mechanical focus, you can really, uh, it's, like you're in, it's like you and the camera are one, if you know what I'm saying. And when I make films, <coughs> I need that feeling. Um, I need the feeling of knowing that when I'm turning the focus re uh, wheel, it's going to focus where I want it to focus, and I don't, I don't trust the Sigma in that regard. Now, this is a review coming from strictly from a micro four thirds camera point of view, because <clears throat> I'd imagine the people that use this on a Sony are using the autofocus capability in the Sony, which is really good. But obviously, I'm using a GH5, and the autofocus, as everybody knows, is not great. And I don't use autofocus anyway, so I need good uh, manual focus. I need it to be reliable, and I need to feel that it's that it's gonna focus where I want it to focus without me having to dick around with it. And I just don't trust the Sigma for that for that sole purpose. Um, I, to be honest, you know, if I had 400 quid to blow, 
which I haven't at the moment because of COVID, um, I would swap this F25 on my camera because uh, I only really use this for kind of these YouTube type videos. I'd swap it for that Sigma, definitely, 100%. But the difference is that, that Lumix, uh, this F25 is like 80 quid. That's 400 quid. And I can't justify it at the moment. Um, I would I would keep it because for stills really I would keep the Sigma for stills um, and probably just establishing shots because most of my work is narrative I don't do like vlogging or stuff like that most of my work is narrative um, so uh, manual focus for me is not an issue I actually prefer manual focus um, even though I've never really used a, a, an autofocus system like Sony or Canon, I probably would love it if I used it. But I'm used to manual focusing and I'm used to Zeiss lenses. I used to have Zeiss contacts, older uh, lenses before. Now I've got these more, um, well it's the generation up, which are the ZE uh, line, but it's the same lens. I used to have this lens in a, in a contact version now I've got it in a Zeddy, it's a Discogon. I mean, this lens, I love this lens. Um, the, 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 the 3D pop from the image from this lens is like something I've never seen off any other lens. Um, and it's just got this nice organic look to it. It's, I, I can't praise this lens enough. Um, I mean, it's very heavy, but I don't mind that. Um, so I think that's what it comes down to with the Sigma, Sigma for me. Um, I do like the lens in terms of the image and the build quality. I like it. Um, but the, the manual focus is dreadful. And I mean, I know it's uh, fly-by-wire, but like I say, there's Panasonic on the camera's fly-by-wire. And that has some degree of accuracy to it. You, you kind of know when, you, when you're turning it how it's focusing. Whereas the Sigma, you, it kind of feels like you don't know where it's going to focus almost it's really hard to explain but I used it for this all this afternoon I was testing it out and uh, it's going back so um, yeah that's it really I just wanted to make this interview because like everyone's singing the praises of this lens and it is a good lens but if you want um, any degree of manual focus I would avoid this lens uh, like the plague and get something like a Samyang or a, you know whatever the alternative brand is in other countries. Samyang, I can't remember off the top of my head, but you probably know what I mean. Uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to look into for a, for my next wide angle. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this video.